What is the most effed up thing a person you know has done? My uncle left my aunt for their son's wife. Friend was in her final year of uni, had strong grades and a really great internship lined up with a place she dreamed about working at that almost certainly would have led to a great job. Her parents faked her younger brother's death on the day where she had three finals back to back. They wanted to test whether she cared more about her family or her career, supposedly. She raced home in a panic and grief, getting plane tickets and flying across the country trying to get deferred exams on short notice. One of her profs who helmed two of those classes required a death certificate, which she couldn't get since her brother was alive and well. She didn't get to graduate because of that, at least not in that semester, and she lost her dream internship. Women of Reddit, what is the grossest thing a man has said to you? My male coworker told me that sometimes the drainage system to the shellfish meat freezers at this old workplace would clog up with old fish juice runoff and he would have to fix it by sucking on the drain tube to get it flowing again. And that sometimes he would get old fish meat cooler juice in his mouth doing so. Girls like you get ard. Said to me and my cousin when we were 11 and 15 years old. We were playing with a huge chess set in the town square and he was watching us. He'd been sitting mumbling and staring before this loud declaration. We called my dad to come get us after he continued talking loudly about us to himself. According to my dad, he was harmless, but not mentally well. I was working at a hardware store and helping a guy when a female coworker walked by. He said I would eat a yard of her crap just to lick the bowl. I will probably never forget that. What's the most horrific act committed by someone you know personally? I live down the road from Terry Joe Volner. He rode my bus every day and was also a violent, horrible person. He murdered a five-year-old because he had feelings for the kid's mom, and I guess she didn't feel the same. So he murdered one of her kids, took a picture of the child's body, and sent it to the child's mom and told her he was going to kill her other kids that he was now babysitting if she didn't come home right now. He got life. Then he beat his cellmate to death with his bare hands so brutally they considered the death penalty. He got life again. Married men of Reddit, what moment with your future wife made you think, yep, I'm asking this girl to marry me? When I first told my father that I was dating someone new, he jokingly asked, what's her name, what does she do, what's her bra size? I told her about it, hoping to prepare her for his sense of humor, and she thought it was hilarious. The first time they met, she introduced herself by saying, hi, I'm Stephanie, I'm in college, and I'm a B-cup. My father was horrified, my mother was laughing hysterically, and I was in love. The date she took off work to help me go through a dumpster. I had accidentally thrown my keys in the trash while cleaning out my car. Men of Reddit, what was the best thing a woman has ever said to you? Oddly enough, it was an apology from an ex's former best friends. Long story short, my ex was a legit psychopath. She uses people and throws them away on a whim and was a supposedly recovering heroin addict. I, like an idiot, ignored all the red flags. She went out of her way to try to destroy my life going as far as court. Fortunately, the judge saw through her. After she tried to ruin me, she apparently tried to ruin her friends as well. Two of those friends reached out to me after to apologize for ever believing a word she said. Not exactly the most feel-good story I know, but I'd be in a much, much worse state right now if they hadn't gotten in touch to reassure me that I wasn't in the wrong. What's a fun fact that nobody asked for? On 1939, February 14th, a German battleship was launched and was sank with only 118 of the 2,200 crew members surviving. Among them was a black and white cat named Oscar, which was found floating on a board and was picked up from the water by a British ship. On October 27, 1941, the ship sank to the west of Gibraltar and Oscar was found clinging to a piece of plank and was later brought to the shore establishment in Gibraltar. When British officers learned what happened, they named him Unsinkable Sam. After that, he was adopted by the crew of the HMS Ark Royal and in 1941, November 14th, a torpedo hit the ship. Sam was again found clinging to a piece of plank and was described as angry but unharmed. And this was a story of unsinkable sand. Men of Reddit, what's the creepiest thing a woman has ever said to you? I bartended at a small dive bar years ago. It was late one night and I had a lone female guest. She was probably middle-aged, polite, and short while ordering her drink. I thought nothing strange and got no red flag, so I continued my closing duty, sweeping around the tables, in particular, not behind the bar. I'm focused on cleaning and getting out of there, and I turn around to dump my dustpan, and she's standing right behind me, staring me dead in the eye. Will you dance with me? She asks in a slow, nervous manner. I tell politely that I'm closing and cannot right now, and quickly put distance and walk behind the bar. In the five seconds I have to walk through the kitchen, this guest has walked back to her stool and begun hysterically crying at the top of her lungs. She asks me if I think she's ugly, fat, unattractive, a whore, and several more derogatory things which I deny and deflect. She screams and tells me she hates me and runs out of the bar. What life hacks have you learned through your job? 
Often the people below you have the most power and are deserving of the most esteem and attention. At work, I mean security guards, administrative assistants, custodians, etc. These people won't be signing your checks or promoting you, but they can really save your butt when you need it or make life very difficult if you get on their bad side. They are often the people who know how things truly work, not just what the rules and regulations say. If they know you're trustworthy, they can easily cut a lot of red tape for you or generally fix things that would take forever to take care of otherwise. This works in real life as well. It's often not the managers that make the decisions on the ground, and having the real people on the floor on your side can be even more valuable than asking the supposed big gun. Men of Reddit, what are some immediate red flags and men that women should look out for? This is one most women learn themselves around high school, but still worth mentioning now. If he's an a-hole to everyone but you, that doesn't mean he thinks you're special. It means he's an a-hole, but knows how not to be an a-hole in order to get laid. Avoid people who are very polite and charming when they want something from those above them, but are arrogant and demanding when they think they can take something from those below them. People who smile up and kick down are the worst. Lack of respect for boundaries. Emotional manipulation, trying to guilt trap you. Pushing small boundaries that aren't a big deal. Then, once called out on it, backpedaling, apologizing for it, and then doing it again. Suddenly flying off the handle at a minor inconvenience. It's one thing to stub your toe at the end of a bad day and give the table a whack. It's another if every moment of stress or misfortune triggers rage. Who is your example of you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? My dad used to annoy me by calling my Pokemon cards Pokemans. Now my kids have them, and I do the same thing, and it annoys the crap out of them. Henry Heimlich, inventor of the Heimlich Maneuver, made up a bunch of untested uses for it. Treating people, having asthma attacks, and drowning victims were two, I remember, that he publicly talked up. Later, he funded an experiment that involved injecting people with malaria to see if it would treat other conditions. The experiment was found to be unethical by American Review Board, so he conducted them in Ethiopia. Philippe Pétain in World War I, he led the French to victory at Verdun, one of the worst battles in human history. In World War II, after France was beaten, Pétain was the head of state of Vichy, France. Guy went from the line of Verdun to the biggest Nazi collaborator in France. Women of Reddit, what are some immediate red flags in women that men should look out for? Same as guys, if all the ex-boyfriends or husbands are crazy and she says she hates drama, she is crazy and starts drama. If she thinks she can control you slash win you over through sex. I had a friend that would say, I'm going to F him so good that he will fall in love with me. She would usually say this if it was their first date. Expecting the man to entertain her on a date and arrange all logistics and events. Note, it is not a bad thing if a guy wants to surprise his date with something fun or do something thoughtful or plan something special. The problem is when the woman does constantly expect her boyfriend to arrange everything, like he's a concierge at a hotel, especially if she does not reciprocate. Worst is when the woman provides no input about what she'd like to do and then sulks when the man does not use ESP to divine her wishes. What's a massive scandal slash controversy that people seem to have forgotten about? Epstein's child trafficking clients were never released to the world. DuPont, still active company, when producing Teflon, dumped loads of bad chemicals into the water and Teflon was poisoning people all over the world, giving them six known types of cancer. They covered it up for decades. Crazy how evil some companies are. Panama Papers, the shadiest of shady financial dealings that should have brought down powerful rich people just got forgotten. I still feel like Equifax got off way too easy. People should have been arrested. That breach was a direct result of negligence. The BP oil spill. In like 2015, I drove by a packed BP and told my buddy, wow, BP is lucky everyone forgot, and he said, forgot what? What's an unusual body feature of yours? I have a bifurcated uvula. That teardrop thing in the back of your throat? Mine is shaped like a butt, or a little nutsack. Ever since my brain surgery to remove a tumor, I can't feel any temperature. I have two different ears. One is wide enough for earbuds, the other isn't. My twin brother has the mismatch on the opposite side. One of my ribs is not connected to my spine. I developed arthritis at 16 years old, also I have a massive butt for a dude. Double cheeked up. Much like people can suck in air to burp when they want, I can do that from the other hole and fart when I want. I knew a guy who could do that, and he used to suck up pool water and shoot it at people when he was really drunk at parties. Equally horrifying and hilarious to a bunch of wasted teenagers.